If you're actually strong in basic math, well, this will be a very easy problem to solve without using your calculator. Let's take a look at the question. We got 3 plus 12 divided by 4 in parentheses squared times 2. Now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. And again, no calculators. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, now back to this problem. Now, assuming you know how to add, divide, and multiply simple numbers, the key here is doing this problem in the correct order. So you really need to know something about the order of operations. Okay, so let's take a look at the correct uh, solution here. The right answer is 21. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're pretty sad because you're like, I couldn't even get a basic math problem correct, well, don't despair. Again, uh, it's probably the case that you made an error with something called the order of operations. So let's see how to solve this problem right now. And again, as I indicated, we need to uh, understand what we call the order of operations, okay? Outside of just knowing how to add, uh, subtract, multiply, divide, these type of basic number operations, we need to understand, hey, which, uh, what do I do first? Do I do addition, division, multiplication, you know, that type of thing. Well, this little acronym right here, PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, is the secret to doing a problem like this, okay? It's just basically a little acronym that describes the proper order of operations. Now, uh, when we talk about this, what kind of operations are we talking about? Well, we're not talking about like, hey, I need to do knee surgery first, and then I got to do a hip replacement next, and then uh, I got to do, you know, uh, shoulder surgery. No, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about mathematical operations. So um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. These are examples of mathematical operators. Okay, so we have the order of operations. And uh, this tells us, hey, what do we do first? Okay, do we do uh, multiplication, addition, subtraction? So let's go through this acronym real quick, and then we'll get into the prom. So the first thing is P that stands for parentheses. So anything that has parentheses, uh, certainly we have parentheses in this problem, but really the P is um, more technically um, uh, uh, what we call grouping symbols. So it could be parentheses like this or brackets and even squiggly brackets like so. So these are examples of grouping symbols. And uh, there's uh, another aspect to um, when you look at the, the P for PEMDAS is that we want to work from um, the innermost uh, parentheses. So let's say you had a math problem. You had some parentheses like this. You had some number stuff going on here, plus seven brackets, like, six, the, like so, plus three. I would say, okay, what's my most innermost parentheses? It would be this situation, right? So maybe this is like eight times two or whatever, you do this first. Okay, so anyways, I'm kind of um, quickly going over this. This really um, uh, justifies like a complete full instruction. Matter of fact, if you want to check out my full uh, material on the order of operations, I'm going to suggest uh, two or three different courses. I teach this in my pre-algebra and algebra courses. You can find the links to those in the description of this video. But if you need a good, strong, basic math review, check out my math foundation course because uh, I get into fractions, decimals, and percent, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so that's the P. So E is what? Well, this stands for exponents, but really it's uh, powers. Okay, so like two to the third power. So anything that looks like this where we have an exponent, this little number up in the top right is called the exponent. This big number down here is called the base. The entire thing is called a power. So after we do parentheses, we're gonna do powers. And then we're going to do multiplication and division, whatever we see first from left to right, and then addition and subtraction. And we're going to be working from left to right. Now, you're going to want to do a lot more um, problems other than this one, okay, to, you know, that can, uh, so you can really practice the order of operations. And math teachers, including myself, love to come up with little tricky situations that confuse students uh, 
to really test your understanding of the order of operations. So this problem is actually pretty easy. It's almost um, easy to get right. You can probably guess and, and get this uh, correct. But there's going to be a lot of other more um, uh, interesting problems where it's going to challenge your understanding of the order of operations. But again, if you need help with that, uh, check out. I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel, and you can go to my courses as well. Okay, so once we, um, you know, understand this PEMDAS, and by the way, if you want a nice little saying for this, there is a little phrase, and this has been out for I don't know how many generations, probably your, your great-grandparents probably remember this. It goes, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please ex excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm not sure what dear Aunt Sally did, but please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's a little... Uh, mnemonic uh, little memory aid for PEMDAS. Okay, so now what do we do uh, now? Well, we're going to scan the problem and we're going to be uh, just kind of going through this checklist. So I'm saying, all right, do we have any parentheses? Indeed we do. These are some parentheses. So we're going to do what's inside of these parentheses. We only have one set of parentheses. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this first 12 divided by 4. Okay, so let's just take this one step at a time, and that's really the key to math, is not, do to, not doing a lot of steps and writing each step, you know, so your teacher can see, and you can uh, verify and see that, hey, you're doing uh, this, um, you know, problem in the correct order. Okay, so 12 divided by 3 is what? That is, I'm sorry, 12 divided by 4, excuse me, is 3. So now the problem is 3 plus 3 squared times 2. Don't take two steps or three steps in one, just one step at a time. All right, so at this point, we have to uh, decide, uh, by looking at this, let me just kind of go down here, what to do next. Well, let's look at the uh, P again. Is there any more parentheses? Well, there's a set of parentheses, but there's nothing to do. There's not like three plus one. So if there's nothing to do in, inside of uh, all, there's no parentheses other than this one, there's nothing else to do, we're done with parentheses. So let's move on to E. And now we're going to ask ourselves, are there any powers? Okay. Indeed, we have a power right here. This is three to the second power. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay. Now, if there's if there were other powers in the problem, you would also uh, take care of those situations at this step. So three squared is what? Well, hopefully you have a good understanding of basic powers. Three squared means three times three which of course is nine. Okay, so at this point we have three plus three squared times two. So the result of uh, uh, three squared is nine. So the problem is three plus nine times two. So hopefully you can see that this is now pretty straightforward. What do we do f um, first? Do we do addition or we do the multiplication? Well, we can go back to our PEMDAS and we could see, oh, there's no more powers. So you're always going to look at multiplication and division as a group. So if there's any multiplication and division, you're going to take care of that, whatever comes first uh, from left to right before you look at addition and subtraction. So right here, we obviously have uh, multiplication. So we're going to handle that, and then we'll add the result of this to 3. So 9 times 2 is, of course, what? Well, that's 18. And then we're going to have uh, 3 plus 18, of course, is 21. All right. So, uh, again, this is a, a, um, an example of using the order of operations uh, order of operations to simplify what we call a numeric expression in mathematics. Now, let me just write this real quick because it's, you know, these words um, and terms mean something. Numeric expression. If I said, express yourself, tell me a story. Well, what would you do? You would just write sentences, right? In, in English, if that's your language, you're going to be like, hey, you know, uh, da, da, da. you'll tell me something, you'll express a thought, uh, whatever the case is, by writing. Well, in mathematics, if you want to express something, we can use um, variables. Okay, we can have an algebraic expression. But if we're using numbers to express something in math, we just call this a numeric expression. So kind of the um, uh, formal direction to this problem would be simplify the numeric expression. Okay, simplify, i.e., this is a bunch of you know numbers. Let's just get this down to one number. And in this case, that one number is 21. Okay, so hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe again if you uh, want additional help or if you need real full math instruction on this because you're not quite sure if you understand it. Just check out uh, uh, my different course links in the description. 
But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.